Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I want to show you how to grow your own sweet potato slips. The potato and the sweet potato are not related. Sweet potatoes love the heat. So you want to start growing this indoors or really get it sprouting indoors somewhere between 8 and 12 weeks before the night times really get closer to the 60s and the daytime stay in the 80s. These love the heat. So to start your sweet potato, I recommend getting an organic sweet potato because it, they tend to root much easier and um, grow the uh, green slips a lot more quickly. You're just going to put in three toothpicks. This is a plastic cup. Drop it in. Fill the water line to about here. This one's a little bit low because um, I was away. It's going to root first and then slowly all these green slips will start and then it's going to take off just like that. When the slips get to about this size, I'm going to show you what you do with them. They're going to have to go into a cup of water, root a little bit longer for somewhere between 10 and 14 days till they have a really nice root system, and then you would take them outdoors. So you're really planning this probably over a 12-week period. You know, you don't have to be exact because these are going to grow fine if you put them out a little bit late when it's hotter or a little bit early if it's cooler. But you really want to start this project about 12 weeks, I'd say, 14 weeks before they're going to be ready to go outside so that you get a lot of nice root, root growth. So after your sweet potato looks like this, and this one's been growing since probably the beginning of March. So well, that's four, eight, about 10 weeks. You're just gonna break off the slip. Some roots will go with it. That's a pretty nice system. That's not gonna have to stay in the water that long because it already has a nice root system. So that's going to go into the water and probably in about a week it'll be ready to go outside. Here's another one. Just break it off carefully. And again, that has a nice root system already too. Now let me just get off a couple more of the larger slips. Nice root system. Make sure the roots go all the way in the water so they don't dry out. And then here's one that's another. This one grew right from the bottom. Now some, now these slips all tended, ah, uh, just broke something. Broke the tip off, that's all right. One's growing from there. They're fragile, obviously, so be careful. Now the slips on the bottom had a, root systems already growing it, but a lot of times your sweet potato, and it's gonna, you know, vary just based on the sweet potato itself and the variety, are going to grow the slips from up here. So these don't have any roots, obviously. So these are going to have to be broken off, put into the water like these, and you really want a root system before you plant them into the uh, containers or into the earth that look like this. So these will, they might take maybe five to ten days to, you know, develop a root system I want. These are probably going to take, you know, ten to 14 days to develop the root system. Now, when I was doing these, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but those are aphids right in there. I'm gonna try and bring it closer, but it might come out of focus. So I noticed during this video that these are covered in aphids, so they're going to get a soapy water spray. And if you don't see them with your eye, sometimes they're tricky because they're green, you can look for these little white specks, see if it's in camera, that sit right on the leaves here. Those specks come from the aphids, and you can see aphids are up along here. I don't know if it's from molting or what from when they're growing, but those white specks are signs that you have aphids on your plants. And, that, and again, I'm going to just take care of it. Actually, these I'm just going to rinse with water. But a soapy water spray, rinse them off, and they'll be perfectly fine. So your sweet potatoes, again, they like the heat, 60 degree nights, 80 plus degree days. Start these indoors, you know, about 12 weeks. Get them started 12 weeks before the weather outside is, you know, within those ranges of temperatures. And you'll be very successful at growing sweet potatoes. They love to vine. They love to grow. Um, and I've had success growing them in containers. I'll be growing some of these in containers again to show you how to do that. And I'll be growing some of these in my earth beds. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com. And also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.